I'm doing this video report on Genghis Khan, the most ruthless Mongolian leader ever known. As funny as it may seem, Genghis Khan isn't really his name. It was his title, meaning universal ruler. Basically, that means he rules everything. His real name was Temujin, and he was born in Mongolia around 1162. That was a really long time ago. He was probably one of the best military leaders of all time. At one time, he had conquered most of Central Asia and China. Incredibly, he had the largest empire in the world before the British Empire. At the age of 20, he began to build a very large army. He wanted to do away with all the little tribes and make one huge empire of Mongolians that he would rule. His armies were successful mostly because of his great battle strategies. He also had better weapons. For example, the Mongolians had one of the most successful bows at the time. Their recurved bow was accurate to about 500 meters. Genghis Khan's men were trained from a very young age to fire the bow from horseback and had the ability to hit their targets while riding away from them. Genghis Khan died in 1227. He died by falling off a horse. Weird, isn't it? The empire at this point covered nearly 24 million square kilometers. That's more than twice the Roman Empire. He was buried without any markers. And in fact, the funeral escort killed anyone they ran into to make sure that no one would know where he was buried. The Mongolian Empire continued to grow even after his death under the command of his son.